So I didn't even know if I wanted to make a video about this, but he's too big of a legend to not make a video about. So Ken Block sadly passed away, uh, killed in snowmobile accident. Uh, a couple hours ago, at least yesterday, um, regarding our time difference, I'm in the Netherlands, in Europe, and of course Ken Block was in the States. Um, yeah, I'm really saddened by this news. Uh, I already thought it was a shit day, but it made it even a worse day than ever before. Um, yeah, so the Hoonigans actually posted this. It's with our deepest regrets that we can confirm that Ken Block passed away in a snowmobile accident today. Ken was a visionary, a pioneer, and an icon. And most importantly, a father and husband. He will be incredibly missed. Please respect the family's privacy at this time while they grieve, which of course is a very normal thing to ask. Uh, so many people regarding press and everything being absolute bastards probably, but this is, um, this is a hard pill to swallow. I mean, I didn't actually even know when I was younger, I was like uh, a little bit into uh, Rob Deerdeck. Uh, of course, Robin Big regarding uh, the skate games and stuff like that. But um, I always liked DC, DC shoes. I always liked the DC clothing, the whole brand, actually. Uh, my girlfriend or my wife actually had DCs when we uh, we were both together in our skateboarding era. And um, it was only when uh, I was a lot younger and saw that Rob Deerdeck and Ken Block, because, of course, he is a founder of DC shoes, um, wanted to buy out Love Park uh, in, in the States. Uh, with, I think it was a donation of a million dollars, but apparently the government or whatever, the people around that who decided to uh, still continue to uh, demolish the whole Love Park, which is pretty sad. Um, that's actually when I started seeing Ken Block a lot more. And I've been a, a bit of a fan of him, not like a huge fan, but I know who he is. I know what he's done. I always watch the, uh, the Jim Kana videos. I actually, when I had my first drift car, I actually um, went into a Jim Kana uh, competition here in the Netherlands, which was a lot of fun, which were a couple of Brits who organized it at uh, Zandvoort, where uh, Max Verstappen also races. But that was a lot of fun. I always thought Jim Kana was a very cool uh, whole setup of a um, driving style and of course uh, what eventually went to become a lot bigger than just the videos that he made with his Subaru in the beginning which was really cool um, you know everybody wanted to do Gymkhana and I did it in real life and a lot of other people did it in real life and we also wanted to just do it with RC drift cars and everything it's so cool but yeah, I'm not doing the man any justice at all, just with me here on the video rambling about this. He was uh, an inspiration for so many things in my life and towards, I think, the whole world, of course. And um, it's just, it's really, really sad that he passed away only at age 55, which is just, it, it, it really pisses me off, actually. This was not supposed to happen. Um, every single time when a, a legendary person dies, I feel crap and I always think about what would it be if I could go back in time and maybe stop certain things from happening, you know? That, that's always something that my mind goes through, but I, I really just wanted to ventilate this out there. It's really going to be shit because he did so many cool things and I, I think, as far as I know, I don't know him in, in real life, but I think he was a genuine, upbeat, super nice, really cool dude. I mean... How could you not be with everything that he was doing? Everything was fun inspired and everything was just really cool. So yeah, I'm just really, really moved and annoyed and also very angry that this had to happen, uh, especially today. Um, I really wish it was gonna be like multiple, multiple years later. Um, I always wish that people just live out their lives at least past 80, at least. So yeah, this is just gonna be it's going to be so shitty, um, especially for the Hoonigan guys as well, because it was just, you know, it's it's like uh, losing more than a family member, if that's even the case. So, yeah, it sucks. It sucks really, really bad. Um, my condolences to everybody around him. And uh, he was just too big of a character to even uh, encapsulate or just try to understand. He was way bigger than anything. So, yeah. I hope that his family is going to be okay. I hope that everybody around him regarding like the Hoonigan uh, people and 
you know, and DC still and every, everything around that and the sponsors monster and everybody's going to be, uh, oh, well, not okay, but eventually come back from, from this heavy blow. And, um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just stupid. Like, especially because of a snowmobile accident, like there's not even specific information. Is there, it doesn't really say anything. I hear only uh, passed away in a small uh, we know that we just read it, but there's not like an explanation um, around this. I saw another website who said that he was going up a hill and there was a specific angle and the snowmobile uh, dropped back and instantly killed him. So let's just hope that he that he died a fast death and not one where he was like in, in a lot of pain for a long time because that's something I don't even wish my my worst enemies uh, uh, towards them to happen so yeah like uh, like I said again it's just it, this is just a stupid video of me talking about this trying to process this which I, I still can't because I don't believe this is real I really think this is just some kind of sick joke but apparently it's real so I don't even know what to do with this it's really stupid he will be incredibly missed that's that's let's just leave it at that i'm i'm really sorry to everybody especially the people watching this video i'm sorry we will never get somebody like him like him back again ever